Hi everyone, Ethan here from Dre Design Studios with another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we'll just be reviewing adding clips to your timeline. So we already have a sequence set up named New England Trip and we already have one clip in our timeline and I'm just going to go ahead and hit spacebar on my keyboard to give that a quick preview. Alright, and we can click and drag on that playhead to reset it on the timeline if we need to. And let's go ahead and focus on adding another clip to this sequence. So I'm just going to go into my footage folder here and I'm going to double click Jordan Pond and that's going to load that clip into what is called the source monitor. Now we can preview this clip as well by hitting spacebar on the keyboard. We can also just hit play at the bottom of the source monitor. So if we wanted to add this entire clip to our timeline, there's a few ways we can do it. We could always just click and drag that clip straight from the source monitor down to our timeline. I'm going to go ahead and hit command Z to undo that. We also have another option called insert which is keyboard shortcut comma key or you can just hit it here at the bottom of your source monitor as well and as you can see what that does is it inserts the entire clip in front of our Mount Greylock clip. The other way to add a clip to the timeline is to overwrite it. This is keyboard shortcut period so if you hit this what that's going to do is it's going to overwrite what Whatever is already on your timeline. If we have a clip there and that's where our playhead is, that's where it's going to overwrite that clip. So I'm going to hit command Z to undo that. Now let's say we just wanted a specific part of this clip and we didn't want the entire clip and we don't want to drag it in here and start cutting it down in the timeline. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark our in and out points in the source monitor. So we have keyboard shortcuts I for marking your in point or O for marking your out point or you could also use these icons here mark in mark out I'm going to show you what that looks like as soon as you add your mark in point you're going to see the highlighted gray area so this is our entire clip now and if I want to go ahead and drag this over and scrub this clip and let's say I wanted to just mark our out point right about there before the camera starts to go back down I'm just going to hit O on the keyboard and that's going to mark our out point now whenever I drag this to the top timeline it's only going to be that segment of our clip because we've marked our in and out point. So as you can see if I click and drag on this playhead and scrub the timeline it's the same exact thing where we marked our in and out in the source monitor. And if I wanted to clear the in and out points I could just right click that light gray area and clear in and out. Or if you just wanted to clear in or only clear out you have that option as well. Now let's go ahead and load another shot into our source monitor. All I'm going to do is double click this clip and then it's going to load straight into our source monitor. Now if I wanted to preview this clip like I said we can always play. We could go right one frame or the right arrow on your keyboard or left one frame or back one frame with the left arrow on your keyboard. We can go to the in point and we can go to the out point as well. So if I wanted to preview this clip, all I would have to do is hit spacebar on the keyboard. However, if we have long clips and we want to speed it up a little bit, we can hit L twice on the keyboard and three times to speed up that clip and watch it at a much faster rate. Keyboard shortcut K will actually stop that clip from playing. And if you hit J, that's going to play the clip backwards. Same thing, if you hit it twice, it's going to go backwards faster. So I'm going to hit spacebar again to play this clip and preview it. I'm going to mark my end point by hitting I on the keyboard and then I'll mark my out point by hitting O on the keyboard. Now once again we can always just click and drag this clip down to our timeline to add it or we can hit insert. Now my playhead is where I want it here and it's not going to overwrite anything. It's not going to move any clips. So we can always click on the insert icon at the bottom of the source monitor or we can just hit the comma key on the keyboard and that's going to insert our clip wherever our playhead is. So if I wanted to travel to the beginning of the sequence, I can click and drag the playhead or I can hit the up arrow on the keyboard and that's going to jump from edit to edit. All right, and I want to render this out so it plays in real time. Currently, we only have one clip that's completely rendered, which is why we have this green line at the top of our timeline. These yellow clips indicate that they are not rendered out, so they may not play in real time. To render footage out, I'm just going to go to Sequence, Render Into Out, and once Premiere is done rendering, it's going to play that footage in real time. Now, once again, if we wanted to speed things up, we can hit L again on the keyboard, and that's going to double it. And if we hit it one more time, it's going to triple it. Keep in mind, J is going to play this footage backwards and if you hit it twice it's going to play it twice as fast backwards three times and so on. All right everybody this is Ethan from Dre Design Studios and that concludes our tutorial on adding clips to a timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please check back for more. 
everybody have a great day.